Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is day 10 of the Sally Tomato Advent um, unboxing. So this one says save this wild fabric for day 13. So this is day 10 so we will have a few days to really know what we are using this for but let's still take a look. All right, it's a little peek. So here is the wild fabric. So it is an animal print. I am not that into animal prints, but I'm still excited to see what it is used for. So it is a cork, but it is like a more thin. It's It doesn't really have that, um, like kind of felt like backing that some of them do, but I have used some like this before and it actually is pretty sturdy. So um, I'm excited to see what this is used for because I do have people that I could make this for if it is a bag. <laughs> I don't really want to, um, you know, well, if you're, if you have this box, you know that like a lot of the stuff on their site is bag making supplies and stuff like that. So I'm hoping it all comes together for a fun pattern to do. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, the next one for day 11 does say gleaming goodies um, for day 13. And then if you remember when I showed that I got this box, there was that kind of different one out there hanging out and it says another gift to use with day 13. And then we have the day 13 where hopefully we find out how it all comes together. So um, this cork is pretty though, even though I'm not really an animal print, I think it's an animal print, am I right? I'm not an animal print kind of gal. You can still appreciate really pretty cork. And I love seeing the cork in the background and the little hints of gold flake in it. It's very beautiful. All right, you guys, let me know what you think. Um, I'm excited for the next few because I really think they're all gonna kind of go together and be a project. And that's what I really like from these type of boxes. So we'll see. Okay, you guys, check back tomorrow to see what we get in bag 11 or envelope, envelope, envelope 11. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your support.